Howdy, y'all. We're here down the Narragansett Bay way, West Bay, Rhode Island and Providence plantations. Here at Independence Day. And this is a trail, common trail. A lot of people walk through down here. Walk by this little tidal marsh. It's high tide. You can see all those green little patches that's floating seaweed. It's called sea lettuce. They come up this time of year. And you can eat that stuff right up. It's delicious. Doesn't taste like much more than a little tiny bit of salt. It's like a soft seaweed. So I'm bringing you down here because this happened to be the day for me to come do. <laughs> it's something I've been thinking about doing for many years. I come here often. This is my, my nearest trail to get into the woods. Right back here, there's probably at least a few dozen acres um, of forest. And this is kind of the, the where the bay, this all flows right into the bay here on the west. So there's two inlets of water coming there, one coming from that way and one coming out right here. And then down here is another inlet into that um, estuary. You can see right now there's some some ducks. The ducks are back. So this was um, a train train track. I mean, you can see the the trail, and this is all built up. Um, that goes way down. There's a cool little pine. We don't have a lot of that. It's like a white pine. But this whole thing is built up. It's a mound, and it actually. Um, kind of dammed up that uh, marsh over there. Um, and so this used to go, this used to go straight out and go all the way uh, down to the water. The train actually went out on a pier, um, which is kind of cool, I think. <laughs> so it's get right up next to a boat. Sea rail or something. It had some about the sea in it. Um, but anyway, so this, this pile is here. It's a cool trail now. And so this is something that traditionally would be known as part of the commons. At least in the common law, um, you have the commons, which are forests like this that don't really seem to belong to anyone. So they belong to everyone. And you can come in here and get firewood and herbs and whatever else um you need so to me this part of the commons and uh it's been kind of i've been i moved down here three years ago and this has been blocked off since the whole time i've been here this tree came down you know big old big old oak looks like um maybe a maple i might see a well it's an oak um and yeah, so there you have it. The thing that, you know, this is the commons, this is ours. But so people will say, oh, well, the town owns this, you know, it belongs to the town, you know, the municipality. But this has been here for three years and someone actually came down to cut like this part, you know, and chuck it right over there, right? So that's about as far as they got with it. And, uh, you know, this is sitting on another tree, which is live, that's bending over, which Okay, it's kind of cool. But they couldn't have gotten as far as cutting anymore. They just kind of half cut it. So here now, I'm here to cut this and free it. Birds are, birds are talking about us. <laughs> so we got a, a little treacherous situation. Let's see. Let's see how this thing bangs off. All right. Well, let's get rid of our obstruction.
coaster. I got it way back there. All right, folks. Well, I'm gonna go collect my bike and go down the other side of the trail. Hey, y'all. I'm just riding my bike through the woods wearing a scabbard. Oh, hey, what's this? It ain't no log. It's just a pile of leaves. Oh, I'm in the commons now. I see this as a part of the beautiful garden of earth everywhere. You know, full of life, green, love. You know, balance and nature is so dynamic. So many things happening, so many things to find. And right here, clearly we're in a, you know, man-made mess in a sense <laughs> this little uh, outlet over here is very slow and stagnant and you know clearly they dug all this out and made this big mound and who knows so a few hundred years of degradation possible degradation uh you know we got we got some work ahead of us and i love it i'm here to do so i declare this a peace park right here down at down by Cedar Spring, um, Narragansett Bay Way, and that this now part of the commons. And I say the commons, I speak in that common law, but beyond that, this native land. And so I'll be inviting inviting the people, all the people, you know, local. I'll, I'll put the word out. This is our peace park, you know? But what's to stop me from planting trees in here and harvesting and making room for the good herbs? And I mean this for everywhere. I'm not, it's, this is just, this is just my home. This is where I be. But let's do this everywhere. So here's another one. This came down a couple weeks ago on a windy day. And I pushed part of it out of the way. I think I was able to snap it, but it's a whole tree. So, hey, look, see, somebody put up the, uh, the little orange anyway. And uh, yeah, this is right over near the local hardware store. So, you know, stop on in, park at the hardware, Whitford Lumber, come get some, get some wood, come in, take a walk, put up some benches. All right, well, I'm gonna get to cutting because the bugs are finding me now that I'm sweating. <laughs> so, in a minute, you'll see this gone. Ta-da! Tree. There. There you go. Time for some decomposition. So this is kind of cool. This is like the up high water. There's a little uh, wet zone right there. So there's water right underneath. And it comes out right here. So, let this be the west entrance. The west entry to uh, this beautiful peace park. So come on down. Let's let's do it. <laughs> let's do it everywhere. <laughs> this is our, our world. This is our this is our earth. Being alive on earth is a blessing. Our highest call is to follow the natural ways. Mother Earth hopes for our return. Then the healing of her landscapes, living communities her waters and oceans. Her health is what creates our own. Every day of life must be integrated into the natural systems. For balanced relation, I must do the work of natural healing. Focus on protecting and cultivating trees and soil, gathering and sharing seeds, sowing and harvesting and gleaning, giving freely animal habitat, and land stewardship on all levels, ceremony, making music and gathering areas, living, talking, playing. Not only is this life way my deepest wish, coming from my heart, my mind's eye, and deep within my soul, this also is essential work, balancing global environments. I see no reason to be swayed from seeking fulfillment in my chosen life's work. Um, so I would think a lot of those small ones down there would come out 
and create light. So right along this trail, plant 100 fruit trees, you know, berries, tall tons of stuff right along the trail here. And then keep trees, keep tall trees right up here that, that are above, but create the light just a little bit south there. This is looking south. And make a whole edible fruit tree, like long orchard down this whole thing. And then down in the bottom, where we make that space, we could do some other plant things. Put in herbs, um, medicinal herbs, berries, you know, cranberries, um, blueberries. And then down here, we got this nice waterway that you know, really, really could stand to be looked at. This is one of the prettiest views of it. But most of the time, it's just kind of like a, a deep puddle. <laughs> But right down there, I can see it's like sandy and, um, you know, it's really nice down there. It's just very thick. It's, it's, it's hard to go around down there because, um, you know, your feet are all wet and whatnot. So, but yeah, but there's some grapes I can see growing in there. Um, there's a lot of grapes through this area. I think that tree right there is actually being covered in grapes. Um, and they're climbing all the way up there. So I'll read now from... The Law of the Rights of Mother Earth, passed in Bolivia in 2010. So I'll skip right down to Chapter 3, Rights of Mother Earth, Article 7, Rights of Mother Earth. Mother Earth has the following rights. 1. To life. The right to maintain the integrity of living systems and natural processes that sustain them and capacities and conditions for regeneration. 2. To the diversity of life. It is the right to preservation of differentiation and variety of beings that make up Mother Earth, without being genetically altered or structurally modified in an artificial way, so that their existence, functioning, or future potential would be threatened. 3. To water the right to preserve the functionality of the water cycle, its existence in the quantity and quality needed to sustain living systems, and its protection from pollution for the reproduction of the life of Mother Earth and all its components. To clean air, the right to preserve the quality and composition of air for sustaining living systems and its protection from pollution for the reproduction of the life of Mother Earth and all its components. 5. To equilibrium. The right to maintenance or restoration of the interrelationship, interdependence, complementarity, and functionality of the components of Mother Earth in a balanced way for the continuation of their cycles and reproduction of their vital processes. 6. To restoration the right to timely and effective restoration of living systems affected by human activities directly or indirectly. 7. To pollution-free living. The right to the preservation of any of Mother Earth's components from contamination as well as toxic and radioactive waste generated by human activities. Chapter 4. State Obligations and Societal Duties. Article 8, Obligations of the Plurinational State, which we will skip for today, to get to Article 9, Duties of the People. The duties of natural persons, that's us, and public or private legal entities. 1. Uphold and respect the rights of Mother Earth. 2. Promote harmony with Mother Earth in all areas of its relationship with other human communities and the rest of nature in living systems. 3. Participate actively, individually or collectively, in generating proposals designed to respect and defend the rights of Mother Earth. 4. Assume production practices and consumer behavior in harmony with the rights of Mother Earth. 5. Ensure the sustainable use of Mother Earth's components. 6. Report any act that violates the rights of Mother Earth, living systems, and or their components. 
and 7. Attend the convention of competent authorities or organized civil society to implement measures aimed at preserving and or protecting Mother Earth. Yeah, I mean, I know it sounds wild. It's like, oh, we'll just come in the woods and we'll, we'll get all our food and stuff. <laughs> I actually got a little bit more of an idea than just that, but, you know. Because the other, and the, but all it is is that we should work together. And some of us may be coming in the woods and getting medicine and food and seeds, you know, um, and doing the work of uh, environmental uh, stabilization or balance or uh, remediation um, through planting seeds, you know, and uh, trees and cleaning places up like this. Not, not, not invasive, not invasive, not, de not to develop, but just to respond to the human influence, you know, because it's all around us. I mean, look, right there, you see those two posts sticking up. There's a whole mound right there. Our proposal to gather seed of diverse plants of all kind and use, to scatter seeds, especially in areas recovering from poor stewardship, to gather foods, herbs, and resources that may be in abundance for use in the common good, within practices ensuring the continuing regeneration of these plants, animals, and resources. To speak simply, we view the whole earth as a garden. I never leave, baby for wise stewardship and interplay with the natural world. Nothing will keep us from living in this garden. To survive, earth weavers claim the right to harvest and take rest anywhere on the planet Earth, the common home of all humanity. We also extend this right to all. However, we respect boundaries and travel as guests in the lands of others. We are far from pushing certain plans regarding the health of ecosystems. Understand that we intend in this case to help primarily with the action of seeing ecosystem renewal occur. And there's that beautiful big old oak right there. You know, big. <laughs> and we're in a lot of tall forest that we can't fight into. But here's some more of the beaches. The beaches are establishing themselves there. And this flows out right that away into uh, the marsh. Wow. And I gotta show you this because that's just crazy. There is another big year for these little fuzzy caterpillars. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so they're all over these, uh, these trees here. So, you know, I, I hope they're doing the good work. They're just doing their part, I hope, and trimming some leaves for us. But it's these type of reasons why we should be, you know, communicating with nature, cooperating, checking out what's going on and helping them with whatever kind of response that they're putting out. So as off key as this is, or not, well, <laughs> it may be off key to that corporate vibration, <laughs> um, but as low key as I'm speaking, consider this the, the announcement of the work for the earth weavers for being out in these natural spots, gathering seed, tending the land lightly for environmental balance and gathering herbs and food for the people, spreading seed, maintaining, and uh, you know, cleaning up and enjoying the earth for you know, what she is, right? All the beauty that's popping up every moment. So, this abundance all around us, waiting for these grapes to pop. So, I hope that that sounds good to you, because let's do it. 